Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of both of these paper lover books. Now these are Kiki K paper lover books and I'll put the Kiki K website in the description box below in case you wanted to check them out or any other Kiki K books they have um, in terms of paper lover books. Now I've already done a few flip throughs so I'll put a few links in the description box below of my older flip throughs. Now I got these both on sale and I actually got two more as well. <laughs> so it was a really good sale on so they were half price all of them and then they were also three for four so I got instead of getting one for 30 I got four for 40 so I thought that was a very very good deal because they're usually quite expensive. So I got the Christmas one for next year, or if I do something that is uses a lot of um, like um, wintry kind of theme things. So um, I'll show you this one first, and then we'll go into this one later. So let's open this one up, and I'll show you what designs they have inside. It's so pretty. How pretty is that? gold it shimmers so beautifully so ooh, oh my goodness I love it already look at these colors how beautiful are they all right so the first page is have a merry little Christmas and I love that I'm probably going to use that next year um these are all a bit too Christmassy for me to use for like a wintry theme but I can't wait to use these next year I love that so much Oh, these are so cute. Look at the kitties. The kitties and the dogs. Oh my goodness. And I love this spotted paper too. Kiki K just does the best designs. I even love this so much. This would be perfect for a winter theme, I think. Oh, that would be perfect for a winter theme. I'm ashamed that they're both on the same page. Oh, I love this one so much. Oh, and little Santa heads. How cute is that? Um, so we've also got some little paper hearts. They have little like DIY paper projects throughout it as well. Um, and a little house. We've got a little paper bow. Um, some more DIY pro pro um, projects. This is a little envelope so you can cut it out here. And I always like using the paper around it as well. I really like that design. That would be perfect. Oh, it's got candy canes on it. But I thought it could be perfect for the snow themed as well. Oh, how cute is this? All is calm. All is bright. I love their pink. Oh, very cute. Oh, I kind of wish I got this at Christmas time. But I didn't want to spend $30 on a book. So a little reindeer DIY. Um, and I'm so glad I got it half price. I should have got a few of them. I could have given them away next Christmas. <laughs> See, these kind of things, like the house, I can use all year round. Um, the reindeer, uh, probably. The cat, I could probably use all year round. And, like, the little, um, ice skating boot. Some tags. Some really beautiful tags. Can you see them shimmer? They're really, really pretty. Some more tags. These are so cute. Little gift box. This is a bonbon style. Another gift box. Again, it's that bonbon style. Little Christmas tree. Oh, how pretty is that? Oh, I love that a lot. So these are the little mini cards that I've used throughout some of them. So when you flip them over, they make a little card. And these are the medium sized cards. Oh, and these are the large ones. Oh, that would be cute for um, a winter one. Although he's wearing a little Christmas hat. And then we get into the stickers. So again, these are really nice and shiny. I really like the gold shine on them. So pretty. How beautiful are these designs? So we've got the individual stickers. So I can use them all year round because they're just letters. Oh, I really like that paper. So I think the theme's changed. It says there's no peeking all over it. A treat box. A paper bauble. Oh, I don't know how you'd make that. It's got instructions down below here. Uh, another envelope. 
another envelope, reindeer ears, oh no, these are just little leaves I think. Oh yeah, you can make a wreath. Gift box, oh, I like the first design better, but these are still pretty, I like that. Fa la la, I could use that all year round. May your days be merry and bright. Merry Christmas. Oh, so pretty. And we got the tags again. Then some little DIYs. Then some stickers. So this is our um, navy and gold theme. Merry everything. Oh, this go book just goes on forever. Oh, and then we start with the cute theme. So they've got a theme that's called the cute. I think it's just called the cute theme. And it's a Christmas cute theme, which makes it even more adorable, I think. Oh, That's so cute. If that didn't say Merry Christmas, then we'd be able to use that all year round. A little mini gift box. Bag. Bag, yeah. Treat box. This is getting really hard to hold down. It's such a big book. Some tags. Some cards. I don't know what these are for. I think they're just little DIY cutouts. Some stickers. And then that's the end. So at the end we've just got the wrapping paper as well. I really like that. I love the first theme the best. I thought that was just so pretty. The next theme I actually really did like. Uh, I just don't know how I'm going to incorporate that as much because it's a lot plainer. Um, the last theme, not so much because I don't really like the cute theme that much. But it is pretty cute, so maybe I'll be able to use bits and pieces somewhere. But it's not really my style. But overall, that's such a good book. I love it so much. Okay, so this next one's called Peace, Love, Paper. Um, and it's very cute, like the last, the end of the last one. So we've got little ladybugs and then we've got some writing paper. I really like the writing paper part. Oh, these are really cute. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to write in this one. Some cherries. So then these are little pop-outs. So these are going to be, I think they're little greeting cards. You fold them in half. This is a cute envelope. I like that one with the cherries. Some peace signs. Another envelope. Oh, that's a cute envelope too. I like that one. It's very cute. Ladybugs. So this is a little gift box. Um, now, these ones with faces, I don't like as much. Um, I do like the theme later on in the book. But I don't know how I'm going to use these and incorporate them into my snail mail because they don't really fit my style. But I do really like the cacti. <laughs> but these ones are a bit too out there for me, I think. Oh, they're quite cute, but again, they're not exactly my style. Oh, these ones were postcards. So we've got stickers. Oh, I really like the noodle one. <laughs> How cute is he? Um, the rest, uh, I will try to incorporate them in my style, but they're just really, really colourful. And you guys know that I love my pastels. Little DIY projects. Some very colourful paper, <laughs> some more very very colourful paper, some pizza paper, <laughs> um, I think these ones are stickers again. Oh the plants are cute at the bottom here, the cacti is pretty cute. So these ones are gift, pa diff gift tags, <laughs> oh, I love this image here, how cool is that? Slurp. Got some DIY projects, some more, some more. So this one you make a little cacti. This one you make a pizza flag. What is this one? You make cupcake flags. Oh, that's quite a cute idea. How would that work? I don't know, I'll have to figure it out. Don't know what that one is. Oh, maybe these ones are to do with the cupcakes. 
Oh, and then this is the theme that I love. All right, so the reason I bought this book so many times was A, because it was on sale and it was very, very cheap and I got one for free. And B, because of this design. I love this design so much. So a little kitty at the top and a little mouse at the bottom with his little um, twine. So cute. This is more my theme. So this is more the pastel colors. How adorable is this paper? I love this paper so much. This has to be one of my favorite designs that Kiki K has done. See, how beautiful is that? I just love the colour palette. This is like my aesthetic on point. So this is a little envelope. Oh, the little cat. And then it's got a little fish bowl. Oops. Little gift box. And it's all little doggies. I love this paper. Even the back side's really pretty. Oh, spots. Oh, yes. Oh, and the camping theme. I would love to do a camping theme. Little typewriters and teacups and little stationary bits and pieces. And I really love this colour too. Uh, I think it's a little envelope. Yeah, it's a letter envelope. I can't wait to use these. Some paper. Little envelope again. I love how many envelopes they have. <laughs> little gift box. Oh, what are these? Little book box. Oh, these are so adorable. We've got a treat box. I don't use that one as much. Another little envelope. So we've got little croissants and um, donuts. Little pretzels. Oh, and the stickers. <gasps> how pretty are these? I love these so much. Thanks a bunch. You're a sweet. You can see they're like a rose goldy shine to them. And I just love the, the colours in these. Some tags. I don't use these ones as much. Some more stickers. So these ones are the matte sort of colours. They're not the ones with the shiny in them. Oh, it says joy comes to us in ordinary moments. I like that saying. A little paper bow. Oh, I'll actually use that one. Oh, and these are cute. These are the greeting cards. Oh, and these are the postcards. I love these. Every day is a little ray of sunshine that's gone an adventure. And I love these ones here too. Um, these are all tags, so these ones you just pop out. <laughs> Origami, <laughs> a little doggy. Oh, and then we get into a different theme. So majority, the reason why I got this book was majority because of that theme there. Um, oh no, this is the end of the book. So this is the, the wrapping paper. So we've got the really vibrant one and also the really pastel-y one. I love that so much. So because I have three of these, let me grab the other two. Because I have three of these and I honestly don't see myself using this front one here as much than the back one. I would like to give this, um, all the goodies inside of the front ones away. Now, I was gonna send these ones off in the mail to people, but these ones are just so expensive to send off. So it usually costs me like $30 to send these two in the mail. So it'd be $60 and I just don't have that budget. So what I'll do, is I'll make a little snail mail package and I'll include all the goodies in the front bit here for you. So if anyone has sent me a letter and I haven't replied, then let me know if you love this theme. Um, either email me or put a comment in the description box below if you want the, the front theme here. So I'll just flip through it really quickly again. And I'll do a little package together with all the little goodies from this front section. And I'll put it into a letter for you. So I want to keep this book because I want to actually use and see if I can use some of these to make some things. But basically I'm going to give away the front of this book and the front of that book. So I'll make a little package using all the goodies. So I have two to give away. So if you've already sent me a letter and I haven't replied, then I'll reply to you using all of the Kiki K goodies that's related to this theme. So let me know in the comments or send me through an email and I'd love to send that to two people. 
Um, so thank you so much for watching this video deck today. I hope you enjoyed my little flip through. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>